Welcome to today's book haul. A few videos ago, I made a book haul. For things I bought post Comic Con, there was a lot of books, but I'm here again with a winter book haul this time because clearly I have a problem because, you know, I don't have any books. There's no books here. There's nothing. This is empty. So I had to go shopping and I have a few to show you. So first up, I have Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. If you're living under a rock, this was made into a movie a few months ago and when I first watched the trailer for this I didn't realise this was Amelia Clark. and when I read who the cast was I thought no, that's not her, but it is. I didn't go to see it because I wanted to read the book first, which didn't happen because I didn't have it. This book is about a girl who gets a job working for this guy called Will who was in a car accident and he got paralysed. So Lou is the girl and she begins to take care of him. They discover what life is about together and they find a new meaning to it. It's such a beautiful story and I can't wait to read this because I want to watch the film so badly. I've been meaning to complete my Lux series and so I finally bought Opposition which is the fifth book and the problem is these are the collector's editions so I don't know where the rest are. Okay, I found them. I needed opposition in this edition. I can rhyme well done. So when they're put together on the shelf, I have them the same heights because this is slightly bigger than the normal paperbacks and I needed them to match. So therefore I bought this now before they stopped producing them. So this series is a sci-fi series by Jennifer L. Almontrout, who is a wizard when it comes to writing characters that you fall in love with. The main character in this series is a book blogger. So all of us that, you know, talk about books on the interwebs can relate to her straight from the get-go. Best part though, these aliens move next door to her house and you would think that's a quite cliche storyline but it gets so intense and there's action, absolute feels worthy relationships that you can't deal with and break your heart. So I can't wait to read the last one. My next book, get this, is a non-fiction. When have I ever read one of those? I have Steve Backshall's Mountain, A Life on the Rocks. Now, as I said, this is non-fiction because this is a kind of memoir slash autobiography. Steve Backshall is a nature presenter here in the UK and I love him so much. He is one of the most inspirational people I've ever come across in my life. Once I travelled three hours to Tunbridge Wells, which is way under London just to meet him and I was amongst all these children who you know watch his children's nature show but then there was me. I'm not 10 but I was there getting my book signed by my favourite presenter ever in the whole life. So this book primarily talks about his travels to mountains and there's pictures in here which I love when it comes to adventure books because like you want to see where they go right? I mean look all the travels it looks so fun and I can't wait to read it I'm so excited I'm a nature freak myself I love watching documentaries about animals if you've been watching planet earth every Sunday you know what I mean it's been beautiful <sighs> the next book <gasps> is the illustrated edition of Harry Potter. I have the greatest story about this. So a couple of weeks ago, Jim Kay, who illustrated this beautiful thing, did a signing at Hatchards. I wrote about the signing that I went to on my blog, so I'll link it down below, because he was so funny. And he told me this story about why he drew a frog as the first picture on here and why it looks a bit weird if you look closely at it. <sighs> is gorgeous. Uh, let me take off the dust jacket because oh, look at it. It's red and the writing turquoise slash blue. I'm obsessed. So the next book is my latest purchase. Literally two days ago I am so excited to have it because it's the most beautiful specimen that I have ever seen and that's Fantastic Beasts screenplay. That film was a work of art Look at this. It's like an actual screenplay and there's little drawings throughout. Niffler is under the dust jacket. One problem that I have with it is that it's small. This is a screenplay, kind of. It's a script, same thing. What? What is this? What do you expect me to do? Why is it small? 
mall up. How is this going to look on the shelf? It's going to be ridiculous. The next book that I have, I'm so excited to show you because it's The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Now, Twilight was my life. So when I saw that Stephanie Meyer is actually writing a real book, not the Twilight rewritten again because that doesn't count, that's not a new book. <sighs> did everyone scream when they saw this was coming out? I did. I love Stephanie so much. So now I understand Twilight has issues. It does. Doesn't take away from the fact that I'm obsessed with it, but it does have some problems. So it makes sense that people are a bit adamant, oh she's written another book. Mm. This book is so good. I have read about half of it and it's so, so different to Twilight. This is an adult book and it follows this ex-agent. So normally when you get spy books, it's about the actual people in the field. This book is about someone that was the lab person, so they're the chemist, and they know all sorts of weird stuff like how to make bombs and all of that violent chemical stuff. And this character, so she has a lot of alias names, but throughout the book she primarily uses Alex. And she's so smart! I can't believe Stephanie wrote this character. She's absolutely kick-ass. She's on the run from her agency because they're trying to hunt her down, and it's very good and I would highly recommend getting it. So that's the end of my book haul which, you know, comes to you about three videos after my last one. I'm so excited about all the books that I have bought. Let me know if you've read any of them, I want to know your thoughts. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I again go off the deep end and buy more things which will happen because it's Christmas. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye! meaning to buy for years and no not years why am I lying I've been meaning to buy for a few two years <laughs> I don't know what words are I'm never put together on the shelf like this this isn't the right order so in October end of October I wrote about the this is so heavy I'll show you the underdust jacket in a second but the drawings there's no drawings on that page I lied